This isn't an easy job. This is a dangerous job. You know? It's not easy getting in the morning and playing Russian roulette. You know, you have to deal with all these elements like cars, taxis, potholes, doors, everything. You just have to be and have all your senses on at all times. Yeah. It's showtime, man. Time to go to work. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're climbing up 23rd. We should catch you in a second. Let me call you right back. Yo, up in the dungeons with dragons, puffins, stuck in the games. Niggas make functions. My next step will believe it shows me that I have a text message. I open it and it gives me all the information. He doesn't really have to speak to me. He just wires it. And then I'll just confirm it. I'll just say copy one, two, three. 15 jobs, as many as, as he sends me. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I play aggressive defense at all times. You gotta stay nasty. Totally calculated. Yeah, I usually rest on cars like that. I don't really like to. I'm just like sitting here. So, you know, I'm not hurting anybody. See the mailman? The mailman gets, they get angry at us, you know? But they, they do what I do, a lot slower. Hey, hey, good morning, people. Welcome to America. You know what you need? You remember the old times? What? You need a horse. A horse, ha, <laughs> That's true, that's true, I do need a horse. This is my horse. The horse, you only see the horse needs some water. <laughs> you have to see that one. He yeah. doesn't need no wrenches. You know what? I don't have Take a horse. Everywhere. I don't I don't have a horse, but I got natural horsepower. The Pony Express, that was the beginning of it all. Now this is a new age type postal service. This is a perk. What I do is a perk for companies. You know? If you want something done right here, right now, not right now but right now not yesterday not tomorrow but right now they call us they call a messenger messenger versus the mailman there's no battle zone there man we both do what we do you know the only difference is that they have health insurance we don't it's just a job you know and they don't get to ride a bicycle why would you want a job that you can't ride a bicycle at? Young and the dangerous water on the wrist ice twist talk with a list VIP top of your list we all in it together, forever and ever, damn or whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah. We all in it together, forever. Yeah, yeah, like, damn. Yo, what's good? No problem, what you need? Check the words from the genius that was written in front. 
Yo, you came to the right place. Something done right. Call Lex. Hey, how you doing? How do you feel about bike messages in the street? You think we're friendly guys? Do you think there's some sort of a war between cabbies and the messengers? The badasses, right? Well, you're a good guy, man. I love the yellow cats. You know? Ah, you're breaking my finger. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you guys are like a bitch. Are you talking about fighting? A bull fighter? Yeah. Bull fighter? You know. I'm a bull fighter too. But, but my bulls are yellow cats. When I first moved to New York, I bought a bicycle. And that's how we get around. My father was a cab driver at the time, and he would tell me these wild and crazy stories of stuff that just happens in the city, you know? And it was just like a wild and crazy place to be, you know? Like, all the different scenes. And um, I would just come out and ride around, and then one day I saw, like, these guys just, like, blasting up, I think it was, like, Sixth Avenue. And the look in their faces were like, they were like raging, like moving as fast as they possibly could. They were like, obviously racing each other, you know? Uh -huh. Then I kind of put the whole messenger idea in my head, like, oh, these are just guys that are hustling every day. So, which one, top of the line? Old school, Italian job, the best. You are watching a master at work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stepping live in the place, smacking blood out his face. It's the principle, don't get it wrong. What I do to eat is nothing in comparison to what I do to keep myself upright and exact. Spray the back if I have to, defend the castle, straight lasso. I got better and better and better and better and better and better and faster and faster. So I started believing in my head that I was the fastest messenger in the city. And not only just because I thought of it in my head, you know. It was because I was out here every day, ran the shine. And you know who's who out here, because their faces don't lie. Hey, what's up, Felipe? What's going on, man? When I first saw Felipe, Felipe had the biggest, has, to this day, has the biggest ego you ever meet in a cyclist. Felipe was a Colombian national BMX champion in the day. See, Felipe, like, with him and, him and I never really got along, ever. I didn't like his attitude, I didn't like the way he looked at me. I didn't like anything about him. But I knew he was fast. And he was also, you know, that part of the generations that started holding out the car. So I continued with that. Not only did he, not only does he utilize vehicles like Spider-Man, but um, he does it effortlessly, you know? It's just like a part of the elements. It's just like one of his tools, you know? So just like watching him in the street, he was always like the type of guy that you knew, like his face doesn't lie, like he's a fast, mean, nasty motherfucker. And there are a lot of them like that. You know, rainy day could be detrimental to your health. So you definitely want to stay dry. It's always good to have your rain gear. I actually enjoy it when it's raining. Just concentrate a lot more. Another thing that I like to do is my infamous ghetto guard. Pierce it. We always have to be ready to perform. And these are just one of the little tools that help us perform.
I love riding through here, you know? We have the Plaza Hotel on Fifth Avenue. This whole area smells like money. Or horse shit. Welcome to my country. Morning, morning. I know these, these people too. Oh, you are my family. Hello. Hello. free when I'm riding, I just feel completely free, you know. It also gives me an opportunity to indulge into myself. I was actually thinking about that guy who got door last week. You know, the edge of the door went into his skull and he died immediately. I had a, I had a good friend tell me once about riding a track bike, you know, because I was always afraid like something might happen, like something could happen. But he, uh, he said to me, as long as you're conscious and as long as you're aware at all times, you'll be okay. And from the moment I start crossing that bridge, like I just turn on that switch where I'm just conscious. I'm just very aware of everything I do and everybody around me. I do the thinking for me and I do the thinking for the next person. A drag bike is basically all flow, you know? It's like swinging your sword like in a constant motion at all times. There aren't any brakes. You're floating through, you're not stopping. You know, you have to kind of utilize that same force that you use to move the bicycle forward. You have to utilize the same force to hold the bicycle back. You're, you're physically in one place, but your brain is like 10 feet ahead of you. Absolutely more dangerous to ride a track bike in the city. You're just constantly knowing that you're not gonna stop, and that's really satisfying. Like, you're just gonna go through that intersection. As a messenger, it's not easy getting up every morning. I know that you potentially will be biking 70 to 100 miles a day. So you do a century tour five days a week. So you have to be committed, you have to be a true road warrior. You know? No matter how crazy it may seem to the average pedestrian eye, we're very calculated. We're professionals, we know the rules, and we're humble enough to just realize it and we've been able to maintain and stay alive. Feels like I've been riding my bike for days. You ever get that feeling like you're just on your bike all day long, every day? 